Hey food nerds! So as promised from last week, we're gonna be doing a Moroccan dish. Today we're gonna be making beef stew with Ras El Hanout, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be explosion of flavor. So here's what you need. So to start, we have to season our meat. So get a little salt. I got some stewing meat over here. I'm just going to put salt on it. Some pepper. I'm just going to use one hand because the other hand can function. And then we're going to transfer it to this bowl and we're going to add all our ingredients for the marinade. So we're going to put our meat. We're going to put our onions. Da, 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 da. Garlic. We're gonna put two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. Have this nice olive oil, it's gonna give it a nice buttery taste. Some ras al hanout. As you can see, it's still not open. Mmm. This is actually from the uh, Try the World box that we, uh, Nick and I opened. The link will be down below. Oh, you can smell it. it, smells awesome. So I like it more spiced. Next we're gonna add some paprika. We mix. So after you've mixed everything thoroughly and your house smells amazing, now we're gonna cover it. And we're gonna put it in the fridge for about four hours or overnight. So stick with me. I'll come back in four hours. So we're back, and I'm wearing a tank top because it's really hot in LA right now. After marinating for four hours, it's ready to go. I don't have a tagine, so I'm gonna cook it in a pot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our tomatoes crosswise. Alright, I'm gonna take the seeds out. And now we're gonna grate. The tomatoes right into the pan. If you have like crushed tomatoes that are already like seeded and stuff, you could just do that. Now we're gonna do the lemon preserves. Rinse this out real quick. A little cold water just to get all the extra rinds out. Take the pulp out. We don't need the pulp. And we're gonna give this a nice little chop. And we're gonna save some of it as a garnish. rind or burst in flavors. We're going to put it in the stew pot. Two tablespoons of honey. And then we're going to add our meat into it. It smells amazing. It's like smoky and spicy. Oh. I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna add our cilantro. Yep. Yep. End oven it goes for about two to three hours or until the meat is actually nice and tender and it's like melting in your mouth. We're gonna check halfway through, see if it needs any fluids or if it's too dry and we're gonna add something on it. But I'll see you then. It's done and it's gonna be tasting time. 
so. Look at that. It's nice and tender. Oh, so excited. Mmm. Mmm. No, cruise, cruise. It's very like fragrant, like aromatic. Um, the paprika, the smokiness does come through. Uh, I can definitely taste cilantro. And I love how the, the lemon rinds just kind of like gives it like a bursting flavor. So awesome. Mm. Love it. I love this dish. Hey, food nerds. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe because I certainly enjoyed eating it. Give it a shot and let me know in the comments below and see how it came out for you or how do you, what do you do differently. Also, don't forget the video that I did with Nick on the Try the World box and the links to that would be in the descriptions below. Um, yeah, thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. To my new patrons, welcome. I will see you next week on the new episode and stay tuned. As usual, happy naming.